So just doing some more testing with this uh, Taro 680 Pro. I've just adjusted the uh, compass puck a few more degrees right to uh, compensate for the variation here in Sydney. And it seems to have uh, taken care of all the residual toilet bowl effect that this quad had just on the last flight. Just a small amount, but it seems good now. So what I did then was literally just apply power and nothing else. And you'll see it's taken off and it has not moved from the takeoff position. The wind's gusting very, very lightly and changing a bit, but it's still holding within about a metre of where it took off from. I've got some keys on the ground there just uh, marking the home point. Okay, let me show you a uh, full power climb in, uh, in GPS mode. Okay, and the throttle's all the way off now. It's descending really smoothly without any oscillation or vibration. Yes, that's really good. It just flies so smoothly. It's a really, really nice hex, this thing. I don't have any other experience with uh, hexacopters, but this one's flying much more uh, stably than my large quads, I think. Okay, I'm just going to do a return home and see how well it comes back to the, uh, the starting position. Now it's just hovering over there in one position. Yeah, when it, when it comes to a stop now, it just stops and doesn't move. So I think I've got the, uh, the GPS puck set up correctly. Okay, into fail safe. So it climbs. Been flying for 10 minutes now. Look at the volume on the timer turned down. So let's see how accurately it lands on the uh, starting position. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, see the keys that are just under the GPS? That's exactly where it took off from, so the accuracy is very good. Thanks for watching. It's called a hexacopter.